Live. I'm, I'm, I'm Mike of, of the magic. M m m m Just kidding. I don't fucking care. Let's open packs. Boom. Boom. What's this set called? Legions. Cool. Um, I'm going to do just the sauce because commons and uncommons can blow my balls. And if you like commons and uncommons, I'm sorry. I apologize. Let's go with the first pack. Please, please. A okay, here we go. What the? This isn't chaotic. I guess it'll do. Okay. Oh, that smell. It smells like papa. Oh, I got a foil. Burn bright. <laughs> What's my rare? Biomance is familiar. Oh, and uh, if you want to know what it does, <laughs> I ain't reading them. Oh, you want to see them too? There. <laughs> a stomping ground. Shockland. Can't go wrong with that. Actually, need stomping grounds too. My other rare was not three knuckles deep. Good card. God, I love that smell. <sighs> Cardboard crack. Pass it over here, nigga. Oh my god, this stuff makes it. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And the shock land, blood crypt. I call it gang wars, blood crypt. We've already just got two shock lands? Yeah. Damn, son. How much do you know shock lands go by nowadays? Probably bucks, most of them. Depends that's, on the shock land. That's still pretty good for two packs, though. Next. I got a stinky sphinx, sphinx of foreskin. Can't go wrong with the sphinx of foreskin, it's pretty good. I mean, as long as you clean it. Sometimes the ladies love it terrible. Yeah! Alright. My rare is Crows and Cloud Scraper. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, wait, whoops. Uh, it's hard to do that. Hero of Precinct 1. Sounds like a really bad action movie. When you're going to the multicolored spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human. SJWs are going to eat that up. Yeah, man, I should fucking post that on Twitter. People lose their shit. That's a really weird saying. You ever, was there someone in history that My shit, it's missing! It's gone! Well, I imagine... Oh, Timmy lost his shit again. <laughs> so, can you describe to me the shit you lost? I at least got one of the cards I want. I'm a happy a happy monkey. I got Domery. Ooh. Holy shit, this fucking box is on fire. I just want kick. I need kick. Good fucking guy. I have no clue what that card is worth, but... Uh, 12 bucks. Fucking crap. That's American, though, so probably 15 here. Uh, should I put the card listing up, on, up maybe? You know, I know exactly what you should be looking for. You I, could already like that. I already did that. I watch Heroes and Legends. I watch Heroes and Legends. <laughs> Gruel Spellbreaker. Three cost, three, three. Riot Trample, as long as it's your turn, he has sex proof. It's me. It's pretty good. It's not too shabby do. Three, four, three, three alone is solid. Trample, Riot, hex proof on your opponent's turn. Right. Game over, sense. man. Game over, man. He's going to get shrapped, man. I can't wait to. Oh, no. Please, please. One Vizard Rex. That's all I need. One Vizard Drix and it's complete. Please. Please. Priest of Forgotten Gods. Sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players lose life. Creature at two luck and broker. That's a lot of that's a lot of text for us. Shit! No, it's pretty good. <laughs> Not too shabby. What do you guys think? Not too bad. Well, there's my just the sauce stuff for now. We have other uh, members of the Magic Method crew. They're going to open some... I know, you'll miss me the most. And in other news, I do still play Yu-Gi-Oh! 
I guess I'll give you these. Why do I have to be here? It's like a new side set or something like that. I don't mind this. Alright, so I got a Viscope, a Vampire, and Zorzov, with a figure. Uh, Raster's Admonition. Uh, Scorch Mark, nifty little damage card. We got a Mammoth Spider, Sign of the Pit, Hellbringer, a Rubble Reading, Law Mages Binding, it's a pretty good drafty card. I like these new Locket cards. These are actually pretty cool. Hybrid cost, ability to draw stuff. Um, I actually looked at the spoiler for this. I was actually pretty happy to see there was a Rhino in this set, an actually good Rhino. So the Enraged Ceratog makes me happy. Um, Minister of Obligation, Terramander. I got Judith, the Scourge Diva. Oh, nice. I was looking this up. I was actually uh, showing a fancy for this uh, fancy tool here. And, uh, other creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Oh. Whenever non-creature, whenever non-token creature you control dies. Pardon me. Uh, Judith, the Scourge Diva, deals one damage to any target. That's a uh, huge with a lot of the Rakdos effects. It's a uh, lot like spectacle and uh, just a little bit of an extra oomph added onto it. I got a Foil Frenzied, what is this? Erinx. It's a pretty good uh, creature with Riot. Four drops, three, three. You can make a Trample Haste out of nowhere. That's actually pretty fun. Uh, Simic Gate, holy crap, no one cares. And a Spirit Token, people care for, for more for this than Gilgates. Gate cards are fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. The Gate Support, yeah. They just Yeah, but you need the Gates for the Support. Absolutely. Why run all that just for, you know? Why run Rhinos? Because he's a phenomenal ECW champion. I can't. <laughs> you win this one. Oh. That was a lot less smooth than I anticipated. Back live. Encounter target spell. It's controller. Puts the top three cards in there. We're filming me for some reason. <laughs> Other way, there we go. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Thought collapse counters target spell its control puts the top three cards of their deck into their graveyard, their library, their soon hidden gems. Their je ne sais quoi. There's something I do not know. Isn't that what that means? You speak in French, son. We're fucking Canadian. Well, not like that. Uh, Plague White. Comes block, each creature blocking it gets minus one, minus one until the end of the turn. That's okay. Um, Axe Bane Beast, that's pretty cool. Four drop, three, four, vanilla uh, creature. Pardon me, wow. Uh, Wrecking Beast, uh, seven cost, six, six with Riot. Again, you know, one of those nice opportunities to get a Trampler Haste. Uh, Senate Courier, uh, top of uh, white and one colorless. It gains vigilance until the end of the turn. It's flying, it's blue. Clearly, it's Oh, well, it's Scuttle Gator. It is a Crab Turtle Crocodile. It has Defender. It is a DAP 3 for 8. Um, as long as a Scuttle Gator has plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, uh, it can attack as though it didn't have Defender. Another Locket. Uh, the Senate Griffin's pretty cool. It's the Battlefield Scry one. It's a 3 2 Flyer for an Azorius hybrid. Uh, Deface. Destroy a creature with a uh, defender, destroy an artifact. For one, that's actually still pretty good. Uh, Bankrupt in Blood. You know, sacrifice two creatures, draw three cards. Not a bad utilization. And, you know, as long as you're, you know, heavy into getting that uh, token flow out. And uh, there's quite a bit of this, surprisingly. So this isn't a bad uh, resource. Um, Blood Mist Infiltrator. Uh, when he attacks... You sacrifice another creature. If you do, he can't be blocked this turn. Again, more of that creature token support that you're going to see more of in this set. Another essence capture. Uh, counter target creature spell. Put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature you control. The variety's endless. Awaken the erstwhile. This rare five cost here. Uh, each player discards all the cards in their hand. Uh, and then creates that many 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens. Uh, 
decent grave support, you know, decent discard support, or just overall send to graveyard support. Uh, the Orzhov Guildgate, and uh, the Beast Token. Mm, it's pretty cool looking. Like, a saber tooth scooby doo. Untouched fast. Uh, it's a three drop, one red, green, colorless. Uh, can't be blocked by creature tokens. St snazzy stuff. Really outs the re like the good resources for the token support. Uh, tenth district one. Uh, veteran. Pardon me. Um, vigilance. Uh, when he attacks, untap another target creature you control. Good for tap abilities if you're happening to use them while you're using this. Uh, prying eyes. Draw four cards and discard two cards. Uh, for six, it's, I suppose it's okay, but it's instant speed, so that's what really uh, counts for its benefit. Uh, Rakdos Trumpeter. Uh, I always loved Rakdos support. Uh, Hellbent was my jam when uh, the original block had come out way back when. Uh, so Menace, uh, four, uh, it gains plus two plus zero oh until the end of the turn, which isn't too bad. It's a, a one three, and just on a whim, you know, you can turn it into a heftier beater that can't really be blocked all that often. Skewer the critics. Uh, it has a spectacle, so you can cast a spell for a spectacle spectacle cost rather than its mana cost. Um, that's if your opponent lost life this turn, and it deals damage to any three damage to any target. So that could include the player, the planeswalker, the creature. That's huge stuff. Um, Black Brand, not bad. Uh, target creature gains death touch until the end of the turn and you draw a card. That's excellent utilization and being able to gain your resources and to get field advantage. So on a whim, you can turn an attacking creature into just a murder machine and a way to draw cards for next to nothing. So essentially that previous card is a standard lightning bolt. Oh, uh, well, before this one, the Skewer, Skewer the Critics? Yes. Yeah. Um, the only difference, is, though, is that it's a you sorcery have, rather than no, an no, instant. instant speed. Yeah, yeah and you can call, in, um, you can use its spectacle cost, um, but you have to make sure your opponent lost life the turn. So it's not that it's all that difficult, but... Um, it's still an than, extra cost. It's still one more yeah, to jump through. Yeah, um, but at the very least, you know, it's three for three damage regardless, and you can use the spectacle cost if you have to hard cast it. Uh, Titanic Brawl. Uh, this spell costs one less to cast if a target creature you control with a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Um, sorry, this spell, if it targets a creature you control with a 1-1 one -one counter on it, costs one less to cast, excuse me, and it fights another creature that you don't control. Uh, growth Spiral. Draw a card, put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. I'm guessing that's in addition to, you know, your usual land per turn. Expose the Daylight. Destroy a target artifact and enchantment. Describe one. Uh, another enraged Cerdic. Yeah, not a bad green aggro card. I looked at, I look forward to seeing it in like future drafts or uh, re-releases or anything like that. It's still uh, it's still a good weekend for that, and I look forward to hopefully participating in at least one event before the weekend's over, uh, just so that we can really test out what we're getting from the set. Uh, Gates of Blaze, more gate support. I'm not huge into it. I'm really not going to bother a whole lot with it, but uh, it deals uh, X damage to each creature where X is the number of gates you control. So if you decide to use a, you know, um, gate heavy support, then I guess it's okay. Uh, Dolan's uh, Acuity. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, gain two life and draw a card. Uh, whenever you cast an instant, uh, instant spell during your main phase, you may return it during, uh, return it to your hand, excuse me. Um, that's actually really good because you can just keep uh, resetting that additional resource, that life gaining, and again, more uh, resource gathering. I got a Ravager Worm. This looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see, when he enters the battlefield, uh, choose up to one. Uh, I guess you it's just flat out giving you the option not to do anything in its text. How generous. Um, so aside from Riot, uh, it fights a target creature you don't control, or you can destroy target land with an activated ability that isn't a mana ability. You know what, for six, I'm not going to complain on that, especially when you get a four or five with haste, and then, or at the very least a five six when it hits the field, and even still you're producing some semblance of aggressive control, which is actually pretty cool. Well, we got a full split card, uh, Consecrate and Consume. 
But both got good effects. Exile a target card from a graveyard and draw a card. Uh, the other one, uh, Consume, for it's a white and black target player sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among the creatures they control. And uh, you gain life equal to its power. That could be pretty good late game. Um, I'd prefer the Consecrate, uh, quite frankly, because, you know, getting rid of the little guys is uh, going to be actually so much more beneficial for it. And I'm huge into, you know, just gathering stuff that you can use for later purpose in the game. Uh, the long game, game, if you will. Yeah, uh, if it comes to that. And of course, you know, if you're doing uh, draft events or even standard, that can still take quite a bit. Uh, zombie token. Who doesn't yes. love extra zombie tokens? Alright. They're not bending yet. <laughs> and they were in cold and heat. Yeah. <sighs> For those of who don't know, it's an absolute snowstorm outside here where we are in Hamilton, Ontario. Yeah, lovely. I missed that. What was that very Uh The rare pull was Rabbit It's a uh, it's a six cost, two green, one red, three colorless, and has riot. And uh, when it enters the battlefield, you can uh, use up to one of the two abilities. Where the one is that you uh, destroy a land with an activated ability that isn't a mana ability, uh, or you can have it fight target creature you don't control. So uh -huh. you can destroy stuff like Rogue's Passage. Uh, you can destroy, um, say, the creature producing uh, mana that came out, or uh, sorry, the creature producing land that came out uh, not so long ago. Damn, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Fairy Duelist, very Lorwyn style effect, flash flying when it hits the field, target creature gets minus two, minus so. Eh. Um, four, Riot and Menace for uh, a 2 2. That's not a bad way to go, especially if it's uh, something that they can't block at that time, or if it's just something you can set up as a hefty wall. Uh, impassioned Orator, when, a, when another creature enters the battlefield under your, your control, you gain a life. Not bad. Generic cheap life gain, two, two drop for a 2 2. Uh, for a two, two. Uh, another Prying Eyes. Um, Footlight Fiend, I'm actually a fan of this card, you know, it's uh, kind of a watered down uh, Mog Fanatic, so to speak. When it dies, it deals one damage to any target. It's a hybrid, too, so it's good in near any case, really. Uh, open the gates, search for basic land or a gate, add it to hand, shuffle your library. Or don't, you're your own rebel, right? Yep. Uh, consigned to the pit, destroy target creature. Um, consigned to the pit deals two damage to the owner's controller. Not a bad way to go. Another another uh, reptile, Catacomb Crocodile. Yeah. Vanilla creature, four drop, three, seven. Wow. That's actually Read the great quote. damage. It's actually pretty funny. Uh, the flavor text here says, I am Sewer King, said Rat. I am quick and cunning, and I know every tunnel. No, I am king, said Zombie. I am cold and deadly, and no rock can harm me. Then Croc came and made them both. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Thank well, you Chris, so much for that. Well, Chris Hansen, that's one predator we won't be catching today. <laughs> uh, Chillbringer. When it enters the battlefield, a uh, tap target creature in opponent controls. It doesn't untap during its, uh, you know, controls next and tap step. Uh, five drop for three three flying. It's uh, it's not even a defender or anything like that. It's offensive and defensive all in the same go. I like it. Uh, uh, Robo reading destroy target land scry two. It's pretty good. Uh, Balrock clan crusher. Uh, it's ogre Suske. Um, you can tap it to remove a one one counter from a creature you control, and it deals two damage to any target. So that's uh, not too shabby. It's not a hybrid or anything, but it can still do a nice tricolor blend with the Simic Guild, um, in which case deals quite a bit around the whole 1-1 one -one counter thing. And uh, red and green stuff with Riot means things can have uh, haste, and so you can utilize them before you have uh, the ability to use the Clan Crusher. It's a benefit, and uh, it's kind of longish to do, but again, you know, if you're in like a draft or anything like that, it can be a lot better than it seems. Uh, light up the stage. Hard cast up for three or spectacle for one. Uh, exile the top two cards of your library, and until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. Holy crap. Oh. Wall of Lost Thoughts. Defender. Um, of course, it's 0 4. Uh, it's 2 drop. When it enters the battlefield, target player puts uh, the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. I just want to show you what's up, you know. And I got a um, Nikia, the old ways. A Centaur Druid, you can't cast non-creature spells. Um, whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana of any 
type the oh hey okay. free mana production just says slam down all kinds of light creature power you know you can completely maneuver around the whole like non-creature spell thing uh, especially if you're running a low count if not a no count and I've seen decks where they're red green and they have very minimal instant source everything is basically creatures what do you really yeah what do you really need to do like you have the opportunity to utilize burn spells um, also as well you have the even bigger opportunity to utilize like just cheap like muscle things. Like in a legacy, uh, people will use like the spirit guides, so that way they can use like uh, the giant gross of the brute strengths uh, or anything one or two drop that's really cheap. So it's you can't use, use non-creature spells. That's right. You can't cast non-creature spells. So you wouldn't be able to cast uh, your brute strengths or anything like that, like that. But you would be able to cast like no, any creature. No, but in a, like when you're considering it for like a standard format or uh, even more of a, a modern format, you know, this could be really good. Revolver. Oh no, it's a, it's a great card. It's a great card. Uh, what I was saying was the red green. A lot of their decks you, are creature based. So you could just have a deck that's all creatures with that. Um, imagine running modern allies with this thing in it. Good you point. don't even need to teach your not. Uh, sorry, you don't even need to touch your non-creature spells. You can just keep on, um, just drop this guy and yep. just continuously drop allies. Not only that, some of the higher cost ones will, pre will present you an opportunity to gain back that same amount of mana to utilize for more allies, stack more effects, and just keep going and going and going. You can turn an Andu cleric into a fountain of youth. Uh, the Azorius Guild Gate and the Thought Token. Not too, not too bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Civic Stalwart enters the battlefield. Um, who is it? Creatures you creatures you control get plus one plus one until the end of the turn. Not bad. Good white aggro, four drop three three. So you'll already have a couple of weenie guys out there, you know, that little extra buff will go a long way. Fairy duelist again, you know, Laura Winnie silliness. Uh, another Gore Clan record. Uh, Steeple Creeper, he's a frog sneak. That's pretty cool. Um, coming out of the Simic Guild, I suppose, 4-2 uh, for a 3-drop and a 4-3 with a blue, you can tap it to give him flying. Frogs can fly, but giants can't have reach. That's phenomenal. Carrying him, that's not too shabby, dude. Uh, enters the battlefield, you may exile target creature card from a graveyard if you do, you gain two life. It's a 2-3 flyer for four. Not a bad way to go. Uh, get the point. Five drop, destroy target creature, and scry one. It can be it can be pretty handy, you know. Uh, scrying can be important, but uh, I would save this for more of like a you know a sealed product kind of event, kind of like you know your drafts, your releases, or your game days, or anything like that. Strictly like solely to the set, or at least this block. If you happen to mix and match this and the previous Ravnica set. Uh, when you have the battlefield, 1-1 one, one human creature token. Again, there's quite a bit of uh, creature token support for this, and I uh, kind of like where it goes. Uh, six drop for a 3-6. It's just more or less, you know, putting a little bit of extra defense out on the field and then providing yourself with uh, like a careful attacker. Um, this is a pretty cool name um, for a uh, Simic creature, uh, Aeromunculus. It's a homunculus mutant. Uh, is adapt is 1 for 4. Uh, this creature has no 1-1 one -one counters on it, of course. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on it in case you hadn't already know what the effect does. So a 2-3 flyer for 3, and in the long run, a 2-3 flyer for 3 isn't the worst thing to do ever. Especially if you're running multicolors. Oh, and uh, Goblin Gathering, 3-drop. Put a 1-1 one -one Goblin Creature Token out on the battlefield for each copy of this card pretty much that exists in your graveyard. So, you know, you can create uh, up to 3 tops at a time. Not a bad, not a bad idea. Uh, Senate Guild Mage. Uh, it's the first time coming across an actual one of the Guild Mages for this set here. So uh, you can tap one white and tap it to gain two life, or tap a blue and tap it, draw a card and discard a card. Earlier on, we saw a card that uh, gives you the opportunity to uh, like untap your creatures. That way, you'd be able to better utilize their activated abilities. And this isn't a bad place to start looking, uh, regardless of which uh, the Guild Mages you use with it. Uh, another Gates of Blaze. Not too shabby. Uh, another Essence Capture. Uh, Skargan Hellkite. Uh, this dragon, five cost with Riot, flying. Uh, you can top four, and you can deal two damage uh, divided at, among two different targets as you see fit. And uh, 
activate the activate this ability only if he has a one one counter on him. So you can just have a four four flyer with haste, or you can have a five five flyer with an additional ability you can use in a later scheme. You know, foil boar. I had a feeling they weren't the most exciting. Uh, and it's a two drop for two two. You know, whenever a creature with power four or greater enters the battlefield. And under your control, like that's plus one plus one vigilance until the end of the turn. Show them the picture. That's a really sharp, sharp foil. If you can hold it closer to the camera, that's that's crazy. It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, look, more guild gates and spirit tokens. That's nice. These Yu Gi Oh cards are fucking weird. Get me again, the old switcheroo. There we go. So starting from a new pack, uh, Humongous, uh, four drop creature, uh, two five with hexproof. Pretty good a uh, generic wall kind of creature, you know. Storm Strike. This is actually a pretty fun boost, you know. Uh, again, works with that centaur. It's just like you know a little bit of a bo extra boost there. Uh, it gives him first strike as well. It's a great way to protect your attacking creatures. And for one, not bad. Uh, Sauriform Hybrid. Uh, this fella here, 2 drop 2-2, two, two, and it has Adapt of 4 for 6, which can be pretty handy in the later game there. If you have a draw, if you have an add the mana, by all means, turn him into a real beast. Uh, the Rakdos Rustabout. It reminds me of a different ogre that was in the original uh, Hellbent series. Uh, and when he becomes blocked, it deals 1 damage to the player or Planeswalker is attacking. Okay. Kind of a... Kind of a double-edged sword there, but it would really work out. I only say double-edged sword because, you know, it could force him to block into it and it could kill it, so you're only really resolving its effect once. But it, that's all it could actually take because a lot of the time, if you're going to be aiming for the spectacle effects, then that's really all it really needs to be used for. But uh, for just a basic 3-drop, three 3-2, drop, three uh, its ability kind of makes me question the trade-off. Uh, six drop five three with uh, afterlife two. Afterlife's actually a pretty cool effect. When uh, the creature dies, get a, a creature a soldier token. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, sorry, a black and a white and black spirit token with flying. I don't know where I got soldier token from. That was just silly. Oh, more lockets. I love jewelry. I'm a silver guy. I bet you lock it. I lock it a lot. Uh, the non-foil front seat of rings, you know, shiny or not, this card looks pretty badass. I like me some kitties. Yeah. It's a gruel locket. Not bad. Uh, wrecking Beast. You know, seven cost, six, six again, haste and trample out of the blue. Set a career, uh, clear the stage. Target creature gets minus three, minus three, and uh, if I control a creature with power four or greater, I may return up to one target creature card from my graveyard to my hand. Not a bad trade off. Oh, uh, combined guild mage. Uh, this isn't too shabby do looking. Let's see what it does here. Uh, one and one green. This turn each creature you control into the battlefield with an additional one one counter this turn, um, or the blue effect will let you move one a one one counter from one creature to another. Uh, Cavalcade of Calamity. Whenever a creature you control with power one or less attacks, a Cavalcade of Calamity deals one damage to the player or planeswalker. That creature is attacking. You are welcome, sir. Kaya? Yes, my baby. <laughs> no, she's not foil. Um, this is the weirdest mm -hmm. god card I've ever seen. Not like that obvious. <laughs> uh, know what I mean, cool kids? Uh, anyway, Kaya Orzov, Serber, damn fine planeswalker. Um, it's loyalty abilities plus one exile. It's two target lands from a single graveyard. You gain two life if at least one creature card was exiled, was exiled this way. Regardless, exile two cards, gain two life. Okay. Not a bad way to go at all. So, uh, minus one exile target non land permanent was converted mana cost one or less. Okay. I, I'm totally fine with exiling, like, you know, cheesy little things that could just start popping off targets at a whim. Especially, you know, like the um, one fiend earlier on, the Rakdos one. 
And it's um, minus five here. Uh, and, uh, Kea deals damage to the target player equal to the number of cards that player owns in exile, and you gain that much life. Really helpful with its first ability. Like, really watch out because that effect's going to creep on you really fast. <coughs> Excuse me. Dab on those cards. Another Kea. <laughs> She's awful. <laughs> I can only get it. Ooh, Concordia Pegasus. What? I don't care. Thought Collapse. Uh, pretty cool counter spell. This controller puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Open the gates. Carry it in. Titanic Brawl. Azorius Night Arbiter, 2-5 with Vigilance, uh, can be blocked. Okay, I like it. Uh, burn Bright, creatures you control get plus 2 plus 0 oh until the end of the turn. Love the art on that. Absolutely. Uh, grasping Thrall, 5 drops, 3-3, three, three, flying. When Grasping Thrall is under the battlefield, it deals 2 damage to uh, your opponent, to each opponent, and you gain 2 life. Skitter eel. I don't know why either. It skits, skits, skits. <laughs> uh, debtor's transport. Uh, six drop five three with afterlife two. Get two uh, the spirit tokens out after it leaves the field. Great way to go, um, especially given uh, the one card that we were looking at earlier on. Uh, the, Sacrifice two creatures, draw three cards, just create more creatures and draw cards pretty much out of nowhere for no reason. Biogenic upgrade for six, uh, distribute three 1 1 counters, uh, and then double the number of 1 1 counters on each of those creatures. So you can either make one guy really big, or you can make a couple of guys kind of big, or you know, three guys. Eh. So mean. Oh. Windstorm Drake, uh, five drop and uh, flying creatures get a boost. Not a bad way to go. It's a three three flyer anyway. Even better. Another Azorian Skyguard and uh, we got a precognitive perception. Uh, draw three cards. Right here. Uh, draw three cards and it has a addendum. Addendum. All right. If you cast the spell during your main phase, instead scry three, then draw three cards. Damn. Not bad. Not bad at Making all. Making look six cards deep, possibly. It's better than three knuckles deep. Slimer token. Great way to go. Spike wheel acrobat. Back on? That's all. Uh, has the officer 3 2 and enters the battlefield. Target creature can twist plus one plus one. We back on for you. You're back on. Or we keep a, uh, having some connection issues there in case you're watching. Um, the rest is, uh, what is this here? Admonition. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Instant. Great way to go. Well, it has an addendum effect. Haven't been bad so far. If you cast a spell during your main phase, draw a card. Bounce a creature, draw a card. Not bad. Uh, Savage Smash, target creature gets plus two plus two, uh, target, uh, you know, fight a creature does, that you don't control, that kind of possess. Uh, consign to the pit, open the gates. Uh, final payment, pay five life, sack a creature in enchantment, uh, and destroy target creature. Depending on what way you go, it's pretty good. I'd preferably use it with uh, creatures with afterlife to them, especially ones that'll get to the higher kind of spirit tokens. More locket. Been waiting to see more of the new style Rakdos stuff. Um, you know, spectacle or no, I'm really digging on the looks of these guys. Uh, the blade juggler. I like the looks of this one here. You know, four draw or sorry, five draw, three two spectacle three. When it enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to you, and uh, and you draw a card. Equipped creature gets incredible stuff. Ah, is that you, Screaming Shield? I didn't cause an agony! Now don't let me down! Awful. <laughs> uh, Windstorm Drake. 
flying boost. Uh, Spire Mangler, three, uh, Flash Flying, very lore when he stuff, uh, enters the battlefield, target creature with flying control gets plus two plus zero until the end of the turn. Uh, oh, Gutter Bones. Not bad. Nice, rare, pretty much a new grave crawler. But, uh, turn it to your hand. Okay, only if your opponent lost life this turn. Not hard to do. More Guild Gates and uh, Sarah Jessica Parker token. Thus is the uh, conclusion of all my packs opening, and I gotta tell you, I have not pulled one secret rare yet. <laughs> I mean, I have absolutely no idea even where, like, half of my leg I'm supposed to be seeing strong needle fiber, grass fiber, saw no Yu Gi Oh! This is the worst Yu Gi Oh! set ever. But it's a good magic set so far, I'm really liking the pulls from it. I mean, like, isn't any magic set good because it's not a Yu-Gi-Oh set? <laughs> sure. You yes. don't play Yu-Gi-Oh, which yeah. is kind of from that point of view, just not a little better. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, we got, we've got Zipax. A little Zipax. Yeah. I mean, I haven't opened a fucking magic pack in years. What was the first magic pack you ever opened, Chris? Odyssey. And it wasn't even a pack. It was back in the day when uh, they would make these things called fat packs. But oh, we can't, we can't use the f word. Mm, no, he oh, still no. holds ashes Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, we're just gonna go for El Sasso. Good. That's what the good men do. Well, anything interesting here? Of course, the fat guys go from the sauce. Oh my God! There's there's fucking Vachinos in this set. I didn't even know. No, you're reading anything. it wrong. Oh no! I just wanted to see what. Uh, this bad boy is. Oh, my the Shaman. Whenever an opponent activates an ability of an artifact creature land and it isn't a mana ability, it deals one damage to that player. Ouch. Oh, it's very nice. He's a lizard man. Oh, a lizard man. I don't think we got anything else that's actually even worth looking at. Oh, no. I'll, I like to call this spirit Big Butt. She gives all your gives all your uh, extra people a little bit of bigger butt. I'll call it Bubba Butt. I miss, I miss the Yu-Gi-Oh guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't even big butts get pounded. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a joke like that, but I thought, no, that's a bit too racy. That's too much for this channel. Yeah, no. you know what I thought? They love it. Mm. Bum, 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 bum. Brines. What? What? Right. What? What? Oh, we even what? got a hollow here? Okay, so... And Razor mm -hmm. Forerunners. This thing is a fucking monster. <laughs> it's an eight cost for a seven seven. Vigilus Trample on eight. D did a fucking five year old make this card? I want something big. So uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, other creatures you control get plus two plus two Vigilus Trample to end of turn. Look at this fucking thing. This looks like something that you'd put down with a shotgun because it has rabies. You you you. you, you you put that, you put that motherfucker down. Do we have anything else here that's even worth? Oh yeah, we do have a home. Oh, this is probably worth like five or six bucks, right here. Uh, light the stage. Yeah, light the stage. Spectacle for ones. So that means whenever you dealt damage to the opponent, you can pay its cost for one instead, and you can ex exile the uh, top two cards, and you can play those cards of your library. Yeah, exile. Blech. But uh, I think right now this card is two or three bucks right now, so this is probably. Five dollars, six dollars, maybe. Yes. And I don't think we have anything else here. It's even remotely interesting. No, not really. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, you got it. Got it. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why Mises. <laughs> oh, bird mice box. <laughs> um, you know what, man? I just get uh, it's pretty hard. I know you're yeah. really working hard right now, Chris, but I need you to do a favor. What? Mice. Oh, Judge, right? that is Judge. not the right Chris. <laughs> Judge, I heard, I've already tended to the garden. You've already tended to the garden? There's already garden tended to Judge. All right, we got... Uh, Another red rare here, Amplify, one I haven't seen before. It's just a 
Four cost, one, one elemental. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal uh, cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Till end of turn, uh, amplifies base power, which is, that's an interesting way of wording it, becomes twice that card's power, and its base toughness becomes twice that card. That's so you can't pump it and then... Yeah, because it's weird. We had an argument about this years ago about base power and base... And they have never used that term before. Literally, this is the very first magic card that ever used the term... I I can't think of any other card using the term base power or base toughness. I can think of quite a few. No, I don't... Honestly, I I can't... No, it actually uses the term base, but it doesn't say power or toughness. And... Although this is a stupid random fucking um, common, but I'm gonna love the hell out of this card Chris, because you can't say common on the internet. I know fucking dirty commoners might get upset about. It. <laughs> uh, it's co- it's called Burn Brightly. It's just a three cost instance. A creature you control get plus two plus zero done a turn. I've been playing stupid cards like this in Arena. Since it came out, and people don't expect it. It's like, oh, he's attacking four one ones. Uh, who cares? It's not important. And then all of a sudden, they're all fucking three ones, and it's an entirely different fucking story. Although this uncommon here is actually not too bad. Uh, Zora's a sky guard, which besides having flying, gives your opponent's creatures minus one uh, attack, which is quite sorry minus one power. This isn't fucking Yugi's. This isn't the Yugi Men's. What do we got here? This Joe. Told you I already tended to the garden. Uh spirit. This this thing is ridiculous. Let's see. Pestilent Spirit. It gives your instant sorceries death touch. That's actually really good. I'm know? telling you right now, I have a black blue spirit deck, and that's going in it. That's fucking scary. You know those cards that say specifically to deal damage Five bucks. just creatures? <laughs> yeah. Then um, having that handy as well, put that in the stack, and then you can turn your uh, creature bird spells into just destroy spells. Also, Rhythm of the Wild seems to be going up as well, so I'm going to put it aside for you, because it's apparently two bucks. I'm not entirely sure why. It's okay. Read it out. What's it got? Um, it's a three cost enchantment. Uh, creature spells you control can't be countered. I think that's probably why. Because I was looking at another bit, which just gives non token creatures you control uh, Riot, which I'm like. I sh- yeah, but I mean, like, so much of this set is based on tokens. So that's like saying it's like, oh, half the cards, <laughs> half the cards don't get this. But I mean, not being able to have stuff get uh, get countered uh, is okay. Now I understand why it's two bucks. Well, okay, Demir and Azorius. Okay. You're thinking anti Teferi deck, man. That Teferi deck that's just all blue white counter and hate yeah. for your permanence. That'll that's be a, really helpful. That's an EDH card. That's why, for sure. Well, that that'd be good for a lot of stuff. Mm. It's, it's multifaceted. Maybe modern if people are heavy on like the blue counter control stuff. Have you played modern? It's, 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 all, it's, all, it's all control. <laughs> He's playing modern here. You know? Yeah, I play standard all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you set the standard a few times. Just be happy Cybertar is banned, bro. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what I got. I got those flips and trips for days. Motherfucker, I'm trying to talk about fucking magic cars here. <laughs> bro, I make magic Oh, okay. Um, the jowls in the dark over here. <laughs> jowls in the dark. Uh... Uh, Tef Taker is a two-cost uh, white human soldier for uh, it's a two-one. Uh, during your turn, spells your opponent uh, cast cost one more to cast, and abilities your opponent activates costs one more to activate unless their mana abilities and has uh, afterlife for one. This thing is fucking silly. And I can't. It's like, oh wait, you want to want to play those fucking control cards? No, just say no. Just say no to blue folks. Say no to blue. Ow. <laughs> My little blue heart. My little blue heart. Get out. We don't take kindly to your color around here. Sounds like someone who's cast a few spells into two blue open mana. Mm-hmm. Just putting this shit. Where are you then? Oh, we got one of the uh, dual cards here. Revive and Revenge, the uh, 
sorry, Revival, sorry. Um, Revival is uh, a two cost, either uh, black or white, the dual colored uh, return target card with a converted mana cost of three or less, move it to the battlefield. Revenge is a bit costy. It's a <laughs> six mana. Uh, two of them are white and black. Uh, double your life, your opponent loses half the life rounded up. I mean, if you could ever manage to actually use that, that, that second one, that's pretty fucking mean. But, ugh. We actually managed to do it, though. What was that? I'm doing something. Come on. I'm just kidding. Ow. Can we smoke this? Let's get some good fucking hog in it, man. Hmm, what do we got here? A Verity Circle. It's a uh, three cost enchantment. Uh, whenever a creature an opponent controls becomes tapped, it is. Uh, if it. I know, thank you. If it isn't uh, being declared an attacker, you may draw cards. So, ooh, man, that's. Don't harsh. be. Uh, yeah. Anything else here that's worth anything? I think so. Although I think this card's gonna make a bit of a splash. The uh, oh man, I have no clue how to pronounce the uh, the black white um, guild. How do you say their name correctly? Orzov. Orzov. Thank you, Christ. Orzov Enforcer. Two cost. Uh, one two of Death Touch and uh, Afterlife. So this thing trades for days, and you don't really mind when it dies because well, you get something out of it. I mean, Scar's love anything, but every time I look at it, it's just a uh, shark to crap. <laughs> so explain to me, someone which was like, "Oh yes, this is uh, this. That's a great name. It's great. It's a great." Name. All right, the rare for this bad boy, I believe, which is the last pack, is Theater of Horrors. It's a three cost uh, black red enchantment. Uh, at the beginning, I'll keep exile top card of your library. During your turn, if an opponent lost life this turn, so somebody to a spectacle, uh, you may play a, a card's exiled by Theater of Horrors. And you can pay four to deal one. Mm. That's actually really good. I mean, ignoring the last ability, because I imagine in a red-black deck you're going to be able to do damage... Anyway, so this is like the last resort if you can't figure out a way to do any damage. Well, spectacle is cast. Uh, if the spectacle ability is you can cast it for that amount. Yeah. Then it decreases the amount of mana needed to be able to cast that spell after you've dealt that damage. Well, yeah, so you actually might have the mana needed to, to use that last ability. And uh, the hollow we got here with the Simic Locket. It's nice. It's shiny. Ooh. 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 You don't deserve a shiny log, that's why I didn't get one. <laughs> I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> is that the Jiffy? It is. Jiffy Jeff here. I am so fucking Time sorry. Time my packs. <laughs> here we go. First pack. Let's get cracking. Been a long time for this. No, set. no, 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 Jeff. There's, there's no crack in the packs. There's no crack in the packs. What? No, 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 there's no crack in the packs. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> a little crack in the packs. All right. Better pull me a beer, of course. <laughs> I was hoping for, for, for a Kribo myself, but all right. What do we got here? Uh, the first card, impassioned or orator. It's a creature, human cleric, uh, one colorless, one planes. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you control, you gain one life. It's a two-two. Great, just what we need. More crap for a John, for a Johnny's pride mage. Mm. God. <laughs> Humongous, five cost, four colorless, one island for a creature. Homunculus. It's hexproof. It's a two-five base power and toughness. 
I'm just gonna go to sauce because I could sit here and read these cards all day. I'll just kind of show you what we got here. Let's go right to it. Our rare is mass manipulation. It's uh, four islands and two X. Gain control of X target creatures and or planeswalkers at sorcery speed. That's a pretty awesome looking card. And uh, we got a hollow foil wall of lost thoughts, which is pretty awesome. That'll be going in my arcades, the strategist at EDH for sure. Wall of lost thoughts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wall of lost thoughts. Well, that's pretty awesome for our first pack. I really like that. Uh, Mass manipulation. <laughs> All right, let's see what else uh, we got here. I thought it was funny. So I keep opening these. Oh, yeah. I was invited for some weird reason. I don't know. It wasn't my choice. All right. Got uh, Twilight Panther. Get Panther. Sage Rose Savant. <laughs> <laughs> Level Belt Recluse. Sylvan Bush Rider. The Sylvan Bush Monster. Plague White. Senate Griffin. <clears throat> Catacomb Crocodile. Summary Judgment. So really, Caretaker. Like, I'm doing, like, linguistics, gymnastics, trying to read some of these friggin' cards. Like, I'm not a super bright guy. Clamor Shaman. Scrabbling Cross. I like that card. It's Scrabbles. Sky Tether. Warrant and Ward Warden. Would be our uh, rare in that pack. Put target attacking or blocking creature on top of its owner's library for either one white, one blue, or, or sorry, two white or two blue, interchangeable. And Warden is five cost. Uh, create a four, four white and blue Sphinx creature token with flying and vigilance. At sorcery speed. I always feel that all those cards, it's, it's usually the first one. Oh, you, that looks you badass. What? Noxious Grudion, Hall of Foil. It's a beast with death touch, but it looks badass. Dude. That looks cool. Oh, it's so shiny. I just hear he's really obnoxious. So that's my second pack in a row with a foil. Yeah, I think I only got like... The first two packs. I think I only got two yeah. foils, I think. I'm not sure. They foil as your attempt at getting foils. Really? My joke royally pissed you off with the lane. <laughs> All right. Rumble Belt Runner. Prowling Cacrow. Well, this is a pretty good card. I haven't seen this card yet. Shimmer of Possibilities. One boss. That's a carry in Sing Guitars Volley. Sing Guitars Volley. Destroy a creature with flying. Morning. Deals one damage to each creature with flying your opponent controls. So it's really anti flying. Skitter Elk, which is a fish crab. That looks cool. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> things! <laughs> They're just like, what two random animals can we just clash together? Debutor's Transport. A Locket. A Chivo. How do you say it? The black and white one? Orsal? Yeah, Orsal, Orsal, that's yeah. it. I just heard him say it. I just didn't want to say it wrong. Orsal. I'm not even going to try to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta use a your big brain attack. Two lockets and one. Dispose and Damn. deploy. Split card. Just a reminder, your phone's getting 50% uh, of battery life there. Right? The rare in this pack is 
repudiate and replicate. Uh, repudiate is counter target activated or triggered ability what? for two green or two blue, and replicate is three cost, one colorless, one forest, one island. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. Sorcery speed. That's a pretty deadly card. Yeah, damn. It's got a Simic Gilgweed and a Frog Lizard. <laughs> broke, <laughs> broke. Why? Where's <laughs> where's where's where these people? <laughs> um, an amount of uh, empty packs. Oh, Here we go. <laughs> nope. Another one of that guy. Okay, so, uh, suck, uh -oh. succulator. I don't even know how to say it. It's a crab turtle crocodile. So, <laughs> tell me you can read with what's the name of that? Yeah, it's scuttle, scuttle gator, scuttle gator. It's scuttle. It's, it's, it's a defender, and as long as scuttle gator has plus one plus one counter on it, it can attack as though it didn't have defender. Another card that I might consider putting in that. Uh, that deck, that uh, Arcades. Civic Locket. Deface. Destroy target artifact or target creature with Defender for one red. Very, uh, what's the one that destroys the walls? It's one red, destroy target wall. I forget what it's called. Oh, that's fucking old. Too. Yeah, just reminded it had that kind of a flavor to it. I wonder if that. Oh no, I guess that card hasn't been. The rule hasn't been changed. Creature spells you control can't be countered. Non-token creatures you control have riot. Yeah, that's the card that's, that's uh, that's Rhythm worth a couple wild. bucks. Rhythm of the wild. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> uh, rare is breeding pool. So, one of the uh, split, split lands. I think that's a breeding pool. It's all sticky as shit. It's a pool of fuck. It's a pool of fuck. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another pack. So not bad so far. Let's sound too bad. A pool of fuck. <laughs> it does still sound sticky though. Stalwart. Quench. All right. Counter spell. Double slinger. I know it's red and green, but it's weird to see anything to do with red have reach. Well, we yeah, red, red have that's, blind. That's really strange. Yeah. yeah. Even though it's red green still. A human lizard warrior. <laughs> They're really going with the three splits. So that's that's basically like the lizard people trying to take over the world as a lizard warrior. <laughs> and they fix the peasant. Another lock in. Another lock in. I don't know. I only got one pack red of a locket in it. You've gotten two packs of two lockets in it. Send a gill mage. Is that the one that uh, taps one white to gain two? Yeah, and then taps one blue to draw a card, discard a card. Yeah, that card. Base, human wizard. That card's really good. Yeah, yeah loots. And Collision is an instant for two that deals six damage to any to target creature with flying. And then Colossus is uh, one red, one green. Target creature gets plus four, plus two, and trample until end of turn. I'm not really trying with those split card. Wait, uh, is that what's Fire Fireblade card? Artist. Well, the split card. Yeah, well, it's just like that. The, usually, the names will match better. Lumbering Battleman, five cost, four colorless, one white. Vigilance Beast. When Lumbering Battleman enters the battlefield, exile any number of non-token creatures you control until oh, yeah, it leaves the so, battlefield. Yeah. Lumbering Beast gets plus one. I'm uh, sorry, plus two, plus two for each card exiled with it. And that, oh, you could do some silly there. shit with that, like some 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 Guilty. blink ability shit too. I think it's silly. Definitely. Next pack.
Spear Spear, one mountain, creature, goblin, warrior, with defender, tap, spear, spear, do one damage to each player, zero, two. Tenth district, district vet, veteran, three cost, creature, human, soldier, with vigilance, when tenth district veteran attacks, untap another creature you control. That's pretty cool. Fairy Duelist, two cost, Fairy Rogue, Flash, Flying, when Fairy Duelist enters the battlefield, target opponent, target creature an opponent controls gets minus two, minus zero until end of turn, so one, two. Gore Claw Wrecker, four, four cost, three colorless, one mountain, creature, human warrior, with Riot and Menace, it's a two, two, base power and toughness. Rampaging Rendhorn, 5 cost, 4 colorless, 1 forest for a creature beast with riot, 4-4 four, four base power and toughness. Dead Revels, 4 cost, 3 colorless, 1 swamp, sorcery with spectacle 2, 1 colorless, 1 swamp. You may cast this spell for its spectacle cost rather than paying its mana cost. If your opponent lost life this turn, return up to 2 target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Cool. Blade Juggler, 5 cost, creature, human rogue, spectacle 3, 2 colorless, 1 swamp. You may cast this spell for its spectacle cost rather than pay its mana cost if your opponent's lost life this turn. When Blade Juggler enters the battlefield, it deals 1 damage to you, and you draw a card. 3 2, base power and toughness. Looks like a jester. Watchful Giant. Final Payment. One white, one, I mean, one, uh, plains rather, one swamp. Instance at the beginning of your upkeep, a god inheritance deals one damage to each opponent, you gain one life. Six cost, uh, got an inheritance deals four damage to target opponent, you gain four life. Administrative obligation, three cost, creature, human cleric. With Afterlife 2, which is when this creature dies, create 2 1 1 white and black spirit creature tokens. 2 1 base power and toughness. Rumbling Ruin, 6 cost creature elemental. When Rumbling Ruin enters the battlefield, count the number of 1 1 counters on creatures you control. Creatures your opponent control with power less than equal to the number of. Can't block this turn. 6 6 power and toughness. Petromander is a salamander drake that's one island. It's a salamander. It's a flying uh, eight cost adapt for. This ability costs one less to activate for each instant sorcery in your graveyard. <laughs> so another drake. Oh, cinder vines. One red, one green. Enchantment. Whenever an opponent casts a non creature spell, cinder vines deals one damage to that player. Sacrifice cinder vines to destroy. Target artifact or enchantment, Cinder Vines deals two damage to that permanent controller. That's a pretty good card. I like that card a lot. Rakdos Skill Gate and a Beast Token. Hey Jeff, um, do you think perhaps we should try catching to the uh, wireless thing here because the uh, stream has been interrupted a couple of times and I wouldn't know exactly how to do it on your phone. Is it still working right now? It is working I'm right now, done. yes. I've but got two I've, packs left. I've, I've literally had to do it about five times now. Yeah, it's like that sometimes. It's, it's already hooked up to the... Uh, yeah, it's hooked up to the internet from over there. I mean the one for here. Because it has the, the code and the wireless thing is on the front of the thing. I think it's already hooked up. That's what it's hooked up through. Oh, okay. That, that's strange then. Twilight Panther. Persistent Petitioners. That's a cool card. It's uh, Target player puts the top card of his library into the graveyard for one and tap. And tap four untapped divisors you control. Target player puts the top 12 cards of their library in the graveyard. A deck may have any number of this card. Mm. What's that? Thirsting Shade. Mana Spider. This is in a pocket. We're also on low battery. Yeah, I know. Grasp them. Thrall. Syndicate Messenger. Root Snare. Different picture. Hi! <laughs> Rafter Demon. I used to be a dancer. Is there a slocket? It's probably still is a dancer. Oh. <laughs> Frilled Mystic. It's a 
Elf, Lizard, Wizard. <laughs> Flash, when Frilled Mystic enters the battlefield, you may counter target spell. It's a 3-2. No. no, why are there Elf, Lizard, Lizard? Yeah. Oh, New Blue Snake Blue says no. Blue, 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 Green, Green? No. Yeah. Elf, yeah, I need that. No. At the beginning of your end step, untap all lands you control. Wilderness regulation for cost. Nice. Ah, oh, that is nice. Code of conduct, three costs. Instant target creature gets minus four, minus zero until end of turn. Draw a card. Addendum, if you cast a spell during your main phase, tap that creature and it doesn't untap during your controller's next untap step. And our rare is Bedek and Bedazzle. Bedek is uh, two black or two red. Instant, target creature gets plus three, minus three. And Bedazzle is six cost. Instant, destroy target non-basic land and deal two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Well, that second one's rough. Azura skill gate. And destroy everything. And uh, treasure. Oh, yeah, there are freaking treasures in this set. Is there like one card that makes them, I think. All right. Civic Stalwart, another Fairy Duelist, Glor Clan Wrecker, Impassioned Orator, Rakdos Trumpeter, two cost, one colorless, one swamp for a creature human shaman with menace. Uh, tap four, three colorless and a red. Rakdos Trumpeter gets plus two plus zero to end of turn, one three base power and toughness. Yeah, Mammoth chickens. Spider. A spider. <laughs> no. Another blade juggler. They can't go to live in a fucking spider. Go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Final payment. Final payment. Another one's gone inheritance. Okay, yeah, that's the cards that actually makes so uh, High Alert, which is uh, one colorless, one planes, one island. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Creatures you control can't attack can attack as though they didn't have defender. Uh, tap four, untap target creature. Very uh, Arcadis flavored. Once again, I say that name. Orcha of Racketeers. Sky Tether. Rampage of the Clans. Four cost, three colorless, one forest. Instant. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments. For each permanent destroyed. This way, its controller creates a 3-3 cre centaur creature token. For four, for Since it's considering that's only 4 to pass, that's pretty devastating. Rakdos Guild Gate, and uh, a spirit token. Noise, no noise, no noise. Alright, these are the last four. Ouch. Let's destroy the fucking thing. Because what I should have done is give everybody nine, but I did the bad math and I gave everybody eight. So now there's four left. So two and two. Yeah. They don't get them. <laughs> so we get two and two. I play Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know what his excuse. If that's okay. Of so if you just want to open them, I'm my excuse is that I just that I'm need to a break because I just finished sure? opening them. Yeah. I'm gonna yell at you. <laughs> well, I just need a bit of a drink. Your mouth gets parched when you read all those. Well, mine gets mouth gets parched when I'm sucking like balls. <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> oh, we're at five percent battery. Right. No we'll bonus. Just, we'll just okay, here we go. Back. I go through the sauce, so don't worry. What you got? It. What you got? What you got? Please, one Kezer drips. <laughs> all I asked for. You got a turn one, didn't you? You're Bedevil. I actually love this card. I want to play set of those. Black, black, red, destroy target artifact, creature, or planeswalker, instant speed. Damn. It's terminate. that did a line of coke. I'm better, buds. Anyway. <laughs> I was looking at it. Way more thankful for Frankie. that word, Dreadboard. Um, <laughs> next. I'm so scared. Sometimes my MS kicks in. Oh. Oh, God. I'm fucking scared. It kicked in a bit too hard. Sorry, Papa. <laughs> No, Papa. What did I just say I wanted to play set? Maybe. Yes, Papa. Just pull another one? Foil the devil? Fuck me! What? Not bad luck there. Uh, Your hands are fucking magic, I fucking swear to God. Glass of the Guilt Pack. Multicolored creatures get plus one plus one two cost artifact. 
That's bad. uh that's that's not really bad. good. Is, is, that, is, that a, is that uncommon? That's rare. a rare? Yeah. Damn, son. You got, you got all rare and a rare. It's a very supportive guild friend. So should I do more like this? Or more? I like crayons. Better. I like crayons. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Unbreakable formation. Creatures you control gain indestructible. That's another one. Addendum. If you cast a spell during your main phase, put one more counter on each creature, and they get vigilance. For three mana. That's this many. One, four, eight. Scepter, Cyrex, Mortal Kombat. Right. I don't remember. <laughs> That's uh, definitely a card I'm going to be using, too. Damn, boy. And hey boy. I'll take pleasure in pumping you, boy. <laughs> what the? Ooh! Doesn't want you to open it. These ones are glued shut. <laughs> Rudy was fucking, re re uh, fucking resealing them, sending them to us. I pulled another mythic. I always do. How many mythics is that? We got like six mythics in this. Holy shit. Mesmerizing. Three colors and two. Blah, for an octopus, four, five. When it comes into play, enters the battlefield, create two, zero, two blue illusion creature tokens. Whenever this creature blocks a creature, that creature doesn't attack during its blah, 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 blah. Mesmerizing shit. Not Kazodrix, I don't care. It's all right. I don't, I don't like it. At least it's not like a lizard, octopus, crocodile creature. Oh, God! It's nice to see illusion that won't disappear when you look. And that's it, my friends. That's all the packs. It reminds me of when I was a Catholic schoolgirl. Let me tell you a story. Okay. I mean, back in the 1980s, secret government employees, uh, they dug up famous guys in the news. <laughs> and I happened to be one of those ladies. <laughs> I was... impossible. Those clones are sexy teens now. I <laughs> was a teen once. Yeah. I lost my hair. Whoa. <laughs> now it's on my titties. And that's the magic method. Um, are we still rolling? Oh, finally, I can speak the truth. Man, I can't wait to play some chaotic. I hate magic. I know, <laughs> I know fucking magic. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks for staying tuned. I appreciate it. Um, listen to us yap and drabble. Hope you had fun. And if you didn't, oh, well, I, can't, I can't make you be happy. Get fuck out. <laughs> if you liked and enjoyed what we put here, uh, subscribe and share, and uh, hopefully we see you again on the Magic Thumbs Method, up that and beard. we'll uh, do it again tomorrow, <laughs> and the next day, 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 and maybe one day off, but th but then the next day definitely. <laughs>